Okay, this video is on um, horses that have conformation issues in the back and how to start them under saddle. As you can see, he's uh, really sway back. He got in an accident when he was a yearling. T post and T post went through his chest, killing uh, or doing damage to his back and causing the sway back. So, the easiest way for me to get him started under saddle, I had to get one of these bareback pads that had some stirrups on them. This is fine for the round pin, but I wouldn't you know, want to take them out on the trails. But um, just going to get them started under saddle. Uh, it all went through the steps I would do with any other horse. I moved his hips around, got him soft on the bit, uh, whatnot to the left and to the right. So I just kind of started him like any other horse. But again, you know, this type of pad might be to ride him in might be okay with the uh, in the round pin or the arena. But I wouldn't, you know, want to train them to go out on trails with this type of pad on. So we'll get to how to do that here a little bit later. But, so, uh, you know, made sure he was soft to the left and to the right. This isn't the first time I've ridden him. He's had a, uh, a couple other rides on his back uh, before this video was made. But this is the steps I would go in, and that's the type of pad I'd use. Uh, it's just like a bareback pad, except it has some stirrups. So in the beginning, you know, I'd put my foot in the stirrup, go halfway up, halfway down, after he was pretty soft on the bit. And I'd do it uh, from both sides. And then halfway up on this side. And then down. And, you know, again, I'd do it until the horse was comfortable with me doing that before I'd swing a leg over him. Again, I already went through all this with him uh, before. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get on like I'd get on any other horse. It's a little different riding him. His back was a lot different than riding, you know, a normal bareback horse. But, um, you know, he's coming along pretty nice. So again, just like I'd start any other horse, um, I'd, move, I'd move his hip around a little bit. You know, both to the left and to the right. And just hold the rein there until he moves his hip. If you're comfortable with it and he's comfortable with your legs, you bump him a little bit. Then, you, you know, they're eventually going to move forward with you under saddle. Just like that. Um, you know, these type of accidents are, you know, pretty unfortunate. But you did get a T-post through the chest when he was... The yearling and it did damage to his back which I don't know all the specifics about but I just know that's what happened and it caused him to have a really sway back so a normal saddle isn't going to fit on him so the idea now is I'm going to here you'll see in a little bit I'm going to try to build up the center of his back to where it would you know where, to where if the saddle was on or goes on, it's going to fit him like a normal saddle would fit a normal horse without this problem. It's probably going to take me four or five, six weeks to really get a good prototype made to where I can put that on his back and put the saddle on, you know, a build up pad in this, just the center there and a build up pad to where a saddle would fit him to where I'll get on him and ride. Again, you know, what I'm riding him right now is not when I, what I want to ride him out on the trails when I'm training him to go out on the trails. You know, there's just not a whole lot there for me to really ride them with. In here in a minute we'll go to uh, the saddle on his back and you know and I'll explain what I did with the saddle on his back or how I got the saddle on his back and built it up in the center. I'm just kind of walking around. So here we go with this. Okay, so now you see the saddle's on. As he comes around, you're going to see I have a lot of pads on him, but it's mainly just the center of his back. Right there, you can see the pads underneath, but it just built up the center. And then I kind of went out towards his wither and then to, his, to the hindquarters a little bit until it was pretty even on top. Then I just laid a normal pad on top of that. And he seems pretty good with saddle on. This is his first time he's ever had a saddle on. So 